Hey there, crafty friends. It's Rena, and today I've come to you with the design team project for um, saw crafters. And I'll tell you that when I saw the paper collection that saw uh, was using, I absolutely had to have it. So I'm going to share the paper collection with you first. Sorry, I had to go get I had to go get my open pack um, because I asked for two paper packs. And um, if you haven't seen it yet, this is the collection. It is stunningly gorgeous, and I absolutely cannot wait to share my project with you. It's called Baby to Bride, and it comes with these chipboard pop-out pieces. Absolutely beautiful. Ugh, just gorgeous. Uh, this is a sheet that I already cut up, but um, I did save, I fussy, actually fussy cut out all the edges and I saved this inner part. Love it. And then there's, you know, it's all double-sided. So here's the full sheet. And then there's this sheet. And this. Love this one with this on the other side. And then there's this. And that's the other side. Okay, here comes my favorite. Look at this. It's my favorite. And you may hear Ryan in the background because I hear her calling me now. <laughs> and then this side. Here's an oh, here's another super pretty one. And then there's these little blocks. So there's two sheets of each. Then there's this and Floor's Leaf on the other side. And then we've got two sheets of this with stripes on the other side. And two sheets of these tags and just dots on the other side and then two more sheets with tags and this on the other side. Alright, it also comes with a sticker sheet with all of this great stuff. Love it! Oh, thank you so much, Soft, for this beautiful, beautiful paper. All right, well, I think I just started to show <laughs> uh, my project. So let me pull back and show you. This is my very first altered canvas. So let me take it off of here and show you that that actually is a plate holder. And all I did with this was add some DIY Boutique Supply Bling there and there. I spray painted it white and it is perfect for holding this altered canvas. 
I just love how it came out. So um, I actually have quite a few alter or canvases in my stash, so um, I will be altering some more. So what I did was I fussy cut all the roses on the edge and I layered them and popped up different ones. On the inside of the canvas, I put this very pretty trim from the DIY Boutique Supply. And the paper in the background, I used one of Saw's stencils, and uh, word stencils. You can't see it too much, but it is back there in the background up here as well. So um, I have fussy cut flowers on the bottom. You can't see them on this side. Um, I also added the same trim that's on the inside. I added it all around the edges and I have this little ruffle trim as well. I added this um, double bow and a beautiful bling piece from the DIY Boutique Supply. Around the photo, I just had this little dainty um, lace in my stash, so I bordered the photo, and then I added, ooh, excuse me, the teeny tiny little flatback pearls, and then inset that. Um, now, with the products that I use from Saw Crafters, I use this absolutely gorgeous wooden um, gate, and this is only half of the gate. I really love the gate because you can use it with both pieces or you can use it with just one. Um, I thought about putting it on the other side, but I decided I wanted this a little offset. Um, I also wanted to use the heart wood piece and the family. Um, Saw has a lot of um, words on chipboard as well as on wood on this particular project. I wanted to use the wood. And all I did to embellish this was add that little bling piece and it is gorgeous. It really enhances that. Um, I have, as you probably know, this Prima um, railing um, from the recent collection. And then I used this clock also from Saw Store. Um, it comes with Oh my gosh, my camera's like so tilted. Um, it comes with a variety of clocks and a variety of wooden hands to go with it so you can pick and choose and mix and match. Um, I put another uh, Prima Corner piece here. And then this beautiful arrangement here is from uh, Rosa's Scrap with Love Etsy store. And then I just added these um, additional flowers that I had in my stash. This is a, oh my goodness, I'm sorry guys. This is a, a Prima. Um, these two are Wild Orchid Craft and these two were gifted to me so I'm not real sure. Um, I don't wanna say who makes those cause I'm not sure. So that is my Saw Crafters project for today. I absolutely love this. I'm going to send this to my cousins. This is my cousin Beatty, and this is Jan. So um, this was obviously taken at our wedding. I'm sure you could tell that already. And um, I just, I love Beatty and Jan so much. My whole family does. And I have to tell you a little bit of a backstory. Um, these two crazy gals actually showed up to our wedding. They're from Texas, and they showed up to um, our wedding Oh, two days before the wedding, um, I was actually taking a nap, and Alan came in. He's like, honey, there's two ladies here for you, um, and they have gifts. And I said, okay, you know, I'll get up. I said, who is it? He's like, I don't know. I said, well, where are they? And he said, in the driveway. I said, in the driveway? Somebody doesn't show up to your house with gifts, and you leave them in the driveway. So I put my robe on. And I stepped outside and I was in the most shock and I was just crying with joy. I love these two ladies so, so much and so does Alan and our whole family. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Everybody have a happy scrappy day and head over to Saw Store. I have a discount code. I will put it in the description box down below and do some shopping because I'm telling you, once you start using these wood products, you'll find out you didn't know how you could live without them. Thanks again, and have a great day. Bye.